Hola chicos, buenos días. Espero que estéis súper bien. So, I have got a little tip for you about including accents in your writing for Spanish. If you have a laptop like this and it doesn't have that number pad which you can find on the keyboards we have at school, what you can do is press this little button here, Alt-GR, press and hold it and then go for the letter you want. So I want the accent on the A, and there you go, pops up on the screen. Same for if you want the E, same for if you want the I, O, and the U. Press and hold, and then you go for your letter. If you want a capital, I recommend you hit caps locks, and then it's going to go all the way across and keep it in your capital form. So here we go, I'm going for the O, press and hold, and then I press the O, press and hold, I get the U. If you don't have the number pad and you're looking to insert your upside down question marks, exclamation marks, and the funny N squiggle thing, you need to go to insert. You then need to go along to, where's my mouse gone? Symbol, more symbols. And then this box should pop up. So you can see that in my recently used symbols, I've got quite a lot going on here. So I can easily click on those. But if you don't have that, all you've got to do is have a look. So it should appear like this. And then you've got to scroll down. And then, well, look, we've got the upside down exclamation mark. Double click. And then you can see it's just popped up there. And now it's in my recently used. I need to now find my upside down question mark. Found it. Double click. It's just popped up behind on the box and it's now my recently used. And if I want the tilde on the end for words like España, Espanol, just there. Double click. In my recently used symbols. Close that. And they're there for you. If you do have the number pad, which is around here, Here's something I prepared earlier. So we've got some codes for you here. So this one here is for the N. And this one here is for the upside down question mark and uh, sorry, exclamation mark. And this one is for the upside down question mark. So you go to your keyboard, you press and hold Alt, and then in the number pad, you type in 241, or you press and hold Alt, go to the keypad, type in 161 and 191. Hope this helps. Adios.